Blood smear. Make Runwald gem staining. Performing a blood smear and using a routine staining method, May Grunwald Gemser staining, allows to identify blood cells. Peripheral blood microscopic smear is a relatively simple laboratory procedure used to accurately assess blood composition. Blood smear is very often performed in cases of abnormal blood count. It allows for the diagnosis of many diseases, including anemia and developmental blood cell disorders. Therefore, it is extremely important to correctly interpret a blood smear. In the presented smear, red blood cells, or erythrocytes, are the dominant population of cells. These are non-nucleated cells in the form of regular acidophilic staining discs. A characteristic central pale area can be seen in each cell. Red blood cells have a bioconcave shape with rounded edges. White blood cells, or leukocytes, are a heterogeneous group of cells. They are classified as granulocytes and agranulocytes, depending on whether they have granularity present in their cytoplasm. Neutrophils are the dominant population of granulocytes. They are about 12 micrometers in size and have a bright cytoplasm due to the presence of weakly eosinophilic granules. A nucleus divided into segments, usually two to four, is a characteristic feature of neutrophils. The number of neutrophil nuclear segments is an indicator of cell maturity. The segmentation increases with cellular age. In females, there is an additional, small segment called the drumstick, containing the inactive X chromosome. The neutrophil cytoplasm is eosinophilic and contains multiple granules, most of which are slightly basophilic. This gives the cell a mixed neutrophilic stainability. Eosinophils are another type of granulocytes. They are slightly larger than neutrophils. Their diameter is about 14 micrometers. They have a characteristic bilobed nucleus, the so-called spectacle nucleus. The presented slide shows a reddish staining of eosinophil cytoplasm due to the presence of multiple specific eosinophilic grains. The third and last population of cells that make up the granulocytes are basophils. They are about 12 micrometers in size and the nucleus, which is usually undivided, is obscured by basophilic granules. Since neutrophils account for the smallest percentage of granulocytes, 0 to 1%, they are relatively difficult to identify in a normal blood smear. Agranulocytes, i.e. white blood cells containing no specific granules, are divided into two groups, lymphocytes and monocytes. Lymphocytes are the smallest leukocytes, about 8 micrometers in size. Spherical, highly stainable nucleus occupies almost the entire area of lymphocyte cytoplasm. Only a small, narrow basophilic band of cytoplasm, which stains blue, remains visible. Monocytes are the largest blood cells. Their diameter reaches 20 micrometers. Their abundant, slightly basophilic cytoplasm contains a characteristic, large, kidney-shaped nucleus. Thrombocytes are fragments of cytoplasm released from megakaryocytes, which are precursor cells present in the bone marrow, enclosed by a cell membrane. Platelets are oval in shape, and their size ranges from 2 to 4 micrometers.